Hey guys, so it is about 7.30 p.m. on February 28th. I have a two hour bus ride to get to JFK, but the Thailand adventures start right now. hours down, four more to go. This sunrise right now though is unreal. We made it to Thailand! Guys, it is our first official day on Phuket Island. I cannot even believe that we are here. We literally did not book anything, which was either a really good idea or a really bad idea. But anyways, we found this hotel literally this morning and it's super nice, but Thailand is so cheap. So literally this hotel cost $40, but I just wanted to show you guys because you really get your money's worth. So this is our beds. I think it's two twin beds pushed together. And then they left these cute little elephants. And then we have just a small little TV. This is the balcony, that's my mom. And then I think there's a fridge in there, our suitcases. And then here is the bathroom, which has these fancy doors. And then we have a bathtub. Here's the sink. And then, oh my gosh, this really nice shower. I love showers that have a huge head like that because then it feels like rain falling on you. And then we have just a toilet room. And this is my bikini of the day. I got this at PacSun, it's the brand LA Hearts. I feel like it's so cute and it was pretty cheap. But yeah, that's pretty much it for our hotel room. But yeah, now we are definitely going to head to the beach. We got my hat here and let's go. So we've been here for a few hours now and it is absolutely breathtaking. It is super, super crowded, but I was kind of expecting that because this is such a popular destination. But I think when we go to the more remote islands, it'll be a little more secluded and private, which will be nice. But yeah, it is so hot. It's like literally 95 degrees. You kind of have to be in the water at all times or else you're just gonna melt. So I'm currently standing in the water, super nice. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. So it is day two and we are currently walking around and looking at the little shops and everything is so cute and it's so cheap. this super cute dress and now I'm looking around at these little knickknacks and it's so tempting to buy because everything is so inexpensive. We're probably gonna spend a little bit more time shopping around and then it's another beach day. These are so pretty, they're soaps and then you hang it up in your shower. So cute. And for the past few days, I've been taking it super easy, but I think I'm finally over my jet lag. So this morning, I'm gonna venture out and try some hot yoga. I could build a spaceship for you But it wouldn't get us anywhere tonight And you can start a revolution But we both know it will never end and this stupid fight I just wanna laugh with you Burn our ships and start anew Don't you wanna try? 
damn, that class was really hard. I think I sweat like half my body weight, but it was an amazing workout and like the most incredible way to start my day. It's way later in the day now and I'm down at the beach to watch the sunset and I've been eyeing these paddle boards the past few days and I just went and asked and it's about five dollars to rent for an hour so I figured why not so I'm about to go watch the sunset on a paddle board. and we are leaving the island of Phuket and traveling to Phi Phi Island, which is supposed to be one of the most picturesque and beautiful islands in all of Thailand, so here we go. unbelievable here as you guys can see it is so beautiful but the sun just barely went down so I will have to show you guys more tomorrow hey guys so it is day five today and this morning we decided to take a taxi boat and go to a different beach it's on the same island you just have to take boats to the different beaches because the island is so rocky so we are at Long Beach today and this beach is known for its white sand beaches but it is also known for its black tip reef sharks so I guess we're about to go swim with some sharks. really itty bitty they were not scary at all my mom apparently saw one that was five to six feet long so I'm pretty jealous about that but oh my gosh when we first got in the water my hair was down so it was flowing and this little baby fish would not leave me alone it was swimming in my hair because I guess it thought I was a sea anemone or something but that was pretty funny but yeah we probably spent about two and a half hours swimming so we are completely exhausted now <laughs> Good morning guys, today is day six and we are about to take out one of these boats and go on a little tour. I think we're seeing three different beaches. One of them is Monkey Beach where you can literally play with monkeys, I'm so excited. And then two, I think we're going to a beach with some caves and I'm not sure what else we're gonna see but it should be fun.
found, so I'm trying to summon them, but I can't find them. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. and I'm sitting on the ground right now because I just made a new friend. But I realized that I didn't show you guys around the actual town on this island, so today I want to bring you guys around and show you what this island is all about. So first of all, there are no roads or cars or scooters or anything, so it's a total walking town. You have to walk wherever you wanna go, which is pretty interesting. And then one of the first things that you'll notice when you get on the island is that it's definitely all about the nightlife because there are bars and alcohol and drinks everywhere. They literally sell alcohol in buckets, so that's definitely a big thing here. Then the second thing you'll notice is that there there are so many tattoo parlors, it's actually out of control. There will be one tattoo parlor and then you walk 10 feet and then there's another one. And I feel like it's a pretty bad mix because it's like tattoo parlor, bar, tattoo parlor. So I feel like some people could definitely get some questionable tattoos while being here. But next you'll notice tons of spas and massage places. That's kind of like a common theme that I've been noticing in Thailand. There are just massage places everywhere. And then of course you have tons of places to eat. They actually have some really, really cute cafes phase here and then wedged in between all the tattoo parlors and massage places and restaurants are tons of really awesome gift shops I swear they have the cutest stuff and it's so inexpensive it's crazy but my favorite thing about this island by far is definitely that there are cats everywhere it's like cat heaven everywhere you walk there are a million cats and it's really fun and I met these two little kitties and they're the cutest things in the world but yeah that is pretty much a rundown of the island from my perspective I need to stand up now because all of the bugs are eating me and my cat friend left me while I was talking. So yeah, that is going to conclude this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my first week in Thailand. I am having so much fun and I really hope you guys are enjoying this vlog style. So definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will see you next week.